Hey guys, Break here. Welcome back to another mailbox opening. And today, as we go over my servers and seeing what's sold for the past week, I also want to talk to you guys a bit about how to be a WoW millionaire, what kind of mindset you need, where to get started, and all of that, because that's the main question I get on my videos, and I'd like to kind of address that in this video. And I think the main thing we really need to focus on is scaling up or expanding your business, because just like in real life, the only thing you need to do to make gold in WoW is find something that's profitable for your time and then keep doing it, do more of it, expand it, all that kind of stuff. Just like a company, when they start out, most companies fail because it's not profitable, it's not very successful, you know, they're just starting out, they don't really know the ins and outs of the business, but eventually they will find something that works, the company will start to expand, the business will start to expand, and then they can, you know, invest in different products you know, expand their markets, maybe go to another country, open up some franchises, whatever. The same kind of thing you can do in World of Warcraft in terms of your gold making. You've got to find something that works and then you can start selling stuff to do with that. You can expand to different servers or different professions. And I think that's the kind of basic idea that a lot of people don't really understand. So we just open up my main server, 440k, a few BOEs and some medallions of the Legion. And yeah, I think that's the main thing people don't really get about WoW gold making is that if you don't keep doing the same thing and keep trying to improve upon it, then really you're not going to get anywhere. And guys, you don't really need any add-ons to make gold in, in WoW and become a millionaire in WoW. They obviously help. The main reason I recommend TSM is that it just automates a lot of things that take a lot of time. And time is money, as the goblins say, so you kind of want to make sure you're spending the least time possible doing boring stuff like reposting cancelling at auctions, all that kind of stuff. And that's something that TSM can just improve upon. Another really good thing about TSM, especially for the crafting, is it shows you the profit. It knows how much everything costs. It knows kind of all the different margins. And it's going to be able to tell you what sort of profit each thing makes on the TSM crafting tab. And that's going to really easily show, hey, on my server, auto hammers are selling for crazy prices. Why don't I make some of them? In fact, if any of you guys watched my How to Make 1 Million Gold in WoW series, the kind of gold cap challenge I recently did, or million gold challenge I did, then in that you'll have seen I made like 200k or well over 100k profit just from auto hammers because I saw they were selling for like 300 gold profit each on my server at the time using TSM. Obviously, I could have worked that out without TSM, but it certainly made things easier. So I saw there was a market there and I tested it out just like anyone in real life would test out something to see if it's got a you know good audience if it actually sells well i tested it out and what happened all my stuff sold within a couple of hours and you'll see that on the challenge if you watched it if you guys remember then i thought hang on if that sold in a few hours why can't i expand so i invested a ton of gold i invested like 50k or something or 100k which was quite a lot at the time into the auto hammers and i made so many auto hammers and then guess what? They just kept selling. I was selling them in stacks of 20, stacks of 10, stacks of 5. They were making me crazy gold. And like I say, I made hundreds of thousands of gold in literally no time at all just from those auto hammers because there was space in the market at that time. And then everyone else started copying me because they were following the challenge on my server and then it kind of died a death. But that always happens anyway, guys. You know, a profit doesn't last forever. You just got to make the most of it while you can. Anyway, in this server, we have ourselves pretty much 700k, including 240k for a Firefly, which is kind of ridiculous. Um, I buy those for like 40k usually and flip them. So the fact that it sold for 240k, I don't even know how that happened, but uh, I'm pretty pleased with that one. But yeah, I always get people saying, oh, I'm doing this, but it's not working. How do I find something that sells? How do I find something that works? Oh, I've been farming all this transmog, spending hours a day farming transmog, and none of it's selling. What do I do? And it's quite simple. The reason those guys are failing is because they didn't really test out their market. Yeah, maybe transmog sucks on their server. Transmog sucks on most servers, to be honest, unless you really love spending hours and hours farming, and then maybe it's okay. But realistically, there's so many better ways to make good gold per hour. In fact, almost everything is better gold per hour than transmog farming if you also count how long it takes to sell. So, I mean, that's something that I would always kind of not recommend, especially to people starting out gold making. Don't waste all your time trying to farm up some transmogs in some old dungeons at like, I don't know, even if you make 30k an hour in terms of the actual transmog farm, 
it takes so long to sell it's realistically not 30k an hour and you know why wouldn't you just go on your tsm crafting or just manually search on your crafting see what's selling well at the time hey maybe you're an enchanter and tome of illusions are selling for like 2000 profit each you make all seven of them or however many they are and you find out that hey they all sold within a day that's 14k you made in a day through like five minutes work and that would say hey if i sold all seven within a day they must be really popular on my server why don't i make five you know invest a load more make five of each and over the next three days all five of those sold yeah so that's suddenly 35 more term of illusions or 70k more profit in like 10 minutes work yeah 70k in 10 minutes sounds a lot better than uh, 30k in an hour's transmog farming that you then have to wait six months for it to sell uh, that's just my opinion i think you guys really need to kind of test out your different markets and see what works and then just expand upon it yeah and it doesn't just have to be making more of the same item you know you can move to different similar items for example when i saw that the auto hammers were selling on my challenge server i then thought hey maybe uh, other engineering items are also going to sell well on this server and what happens we found the failure detection pylons and those were ridiculous they made us like another 200k easily because we uh you know again we tested it out we made sort of 50 we saw how long it took them to sell it took a few hours we're like wow these things are going crazy and no one's in the market for these because they're a bit weird um, but there was a big mythic plus community on that server so the failure detection pylons were selling really well i then invested in those again and just made an absolute killing and engineering on that server made me so much gold particularly the failure detection pylons and the alt hammers as well and yeah it just kind of goes to show how easy it is once you know what you're doing and once you've tested out the market to expand upon your gold making and you know just scale it up because anyone can make kind of 20k gold in a day but to be able to tune that up to kind of 200k gold in a day you know it takes some practice and it takes some kind of testing but hopefully you guys can get there so yeah those are two simple ways to scale you can either start making more of the same item or start finding similar items because if one similar item sells and the other one will probably sell as well and those are two real easy ways to scale up your gold making and you know get to that million gold mark a lot quicker than you otherwise would but there is obviously the third method of scaling as well and that is the cross server like i was saying before just like a company might move to a different country to sell the same products in a different place and reach new markets eventually and what the very richest players in the game do is they can't become the richest player in the game in just one country they have to do a mcdonald's they have to go to every country and that's gonna you know make them the very very wealthiest so uh, that's what i've been doing recently as you guys can see we've been entering loads of different servers and doing the same thing selling boe gear and selling pets on all the different servers but we've scaled it and obviously instead of making 150k or 300k a week we're on 12 servers we make three mil five mil a week now the cross server thing certainly isn't for everyone and like i suggest you know you want to master one server before you expand to different servers but certainly for some niches like the pet selling or like the flipping of boes it you know makes a big difference being on multiple servers and that is how the wealthiest players do make their gold and we've got 7k on this server yay so that's it guys the whole process of kind of scaling is probably more simple the hardest part is finding that profitable item that profitable profession profitable group that's going to make you the most of your gold another 300k here this firefly only sold for 60 which is about normal just shows how crazy that 240k firefly was but anyway finding that profitable niche or that profitable item is the main problem people have with gold making and it doesn't just have to be an item guys it could be a service maybe you love fishing and you've you know found a way to easily power level people to 800 fishing which uh, people do do and you found out that you can sell it for loads on your server because you're the only one doing it well you've just found the profitable thing on your server and you can then exploit that guys it really doesn't have to be a item it can be a profession it can be a service it can be a boost it can be whatever you want and it really is all about trial and error you know don't just give up if you try and you know you see an item that's got really nice profit you try and sell it and then it takes really really long to sell 
don't just give up on that and just find something else that is selling well. And sometimes you do have to be patient. Sometimes kind of luck or context can come in your favor. For example, if a new patch hits, new expansion hits, it's going to be more profitable for you to do almost anything because there's way more players back in the game. Don't know how many of you follow its skits, but he's been big into jewel crafting, most of the expansion, selling gems and all that. He's uh, really good at that. And he's been big into it, but I don't think he's been making so much gold on it, uh, you know, the past few months. But then when the patch drops and everyone's stat priorities changed, loads of people were buying new gems. And if you guys watched this video from a few days ago, uh, from when patch 8.0 hit, he got his record amount of gold that he's ever made in 24 hours. He got that in, in, in one day just by selling the same stuff, pretty much, you know, selling those gems. But because there was a kind of new market, everyone wanted new things, you know, the profit was so much better and just made an absolute killing because of that patch. So, you know, guys, it's not luck. You know, he thought, hey, the new patch is here. I'm going to be smart with this. I'm going to start jacking up my prices and spending loads of time because this is going to be the most profitable time. And he was right. And he made an absolute killing because of it. So, and if you guys are wanting to start making serious gold around this time, so right now, then I would say don't get disillusioned because in sort of three weeks time or whenever it is that the expansion launches, things are going to go crazy and everything's going to be selling loads. You know, if you guys look now at the, you know, TSM crafting and seeing what sells for real nice profit, there might not be many things that are in the thousand gold profits. But uh, you guys look when the expansion launches, there's going to be a ton of things because, uh, yeah, people get very excited when the expansion launches and the profit margins are huge. I think we've just had two servers where nothing has sold the past week, which is kind of crazy. I don't really know why, but anyway. But yeah, the only suggestion I would have is if you are looking to find your niche and looking to find something that works for you and testing it out, you know, I'd do something that's good gold per hour. Like I say, don't do something like farming, which is not going to make you very good gold per hour, at least not until the expansion launches. Uh, don't do something... Don't do a profession that really doesn't have much profit margins yet. You know, try and find something that actually has some margin because then it will feel good when you make a sale rather than just, oh, whatever, we just made 100 gold. It'd be like, oh, something just sold. We made 2K gold and that's going to potentially give you more confidence or a bit more of a drive to sell more of that item, you know, and expand your markets and scale up your business really. So try and pick items that actually have good gold per hour, don't take too long and actually have some nice profit margins. And on this last character, we have ourselves 576K and adding all that up, that's 3.4 million gold. So nowhere near as good as the past few weeks. It's probably because number one, I haven't really been playing. I had a massive break when I went to my friend's house up north. But anyway, um, we still have made some gold we made ourselves 3.3 mil most of that is profit and the patch has hit raid gear certainly has slowed down but it is still selling guys don't give up on the raid gear as you've seen it has still been selling but it's of course slowed down it's nowhere near as crazy as it once was because the mage tower is turned off and all that but don't give up and obviously stuff like pets cosmetic stuff right now there's not much to do in the game apart from people maybe leveling up characters but the cosmetic stuff is obviously selling well so maybe you guys can find a niche in one of the, one of the uh, cosmetic markets a lot of people are making a ton of gold selling panthers but that only works on certain servers on some servers there's just no profit to be made at all but on other servers there's a ridiculous amount of gold to be made with those dual crafting panthers so that's a little niche recommendation for you guys but just have a look get TSM look at what the crafting profits are saying Look on the Undermine Journal, you know, you can work it out pretty easily. And then go for something that's going to make you the most gold. Anyway, thanks very much for watching, guys. And until next time, see ya.